Hey guys, Nick Stocker with Demonic Procedures here uh, with the UDK. We're going to jump ahead a little bit and we're going to talk about importing your own textures. Usually I wait a little longer to do this, but considering this entire editor is based off of your own created content, I feel it's important to get it out of the way uh, quickly. So let's talk about importing your own textures. I have a texture here. It's a uh, crate, looks like a crate texture. And I'll make this available to you guys in the description below. First thing you want to do when you're creating a texture, whether you're creating your own or using one that you found online, like I found this one online, you want to go to your image. I'm using Photoshop, by the way. Uh, you can also, if you don't have the money to buy Photoshop, you can get, um, what's known as, it's another program called GIMP, and it's pretty cool too. Um, I don't really know how to use it. I've never really used it. I've always used Photoshop, but it's all the same f from what I understand. Um, first thing you want to do is you want to make sure your image, image size is of the 256 by 256 or 512 by 512 or 1024, the things that we talked about before. You want to make sure it's that size or it won't work, or 128 by 128, 64 by 64. Um, you want to make sure it's one of those sizes or it's not going to work. Um, try to use the smallest size possible, but make sure it's large enough to have a decent resolution depending on how big of a surface you're putting on. The larger the surface, the larger the resolution needs to be. Um, Alright, so after we know that our picture here is, our texture I mean, is the right size, we need to export this. So let's go to File, and we'll go to Save As, and we're going to create a Targa, a TGA, called a Targa. I'm going to name mine Crate, oops, can't see what I'm doing here, Crate Texture. and I'm going to save. Next thing you'll see is a resolution kind of thing, 24 bits per pixel this is fine. You can jump it up to 32. It really, I haven't seen a bad, big of a difference between the two. I just leave it at default and hit OK. Now I'm going to switch over to my UDK. Now we're going to open up the content browser that we went over last time. And in the content browser you have engine, UDK, and new package on the left here. We're going to want to click down the new package and you should have either package 0 or package 1 or package in some number. Um, it, all, it usually starts up a new package every time you start up a new level. If not, you can go down here and hit the new button and start a completely new package if you'd like. Um, I'm going to package 2. I'm going to package 2 here, and I'm going to import, and I'm going to find my texture, which is saved to my desktop, which should be create texture here, and I'm going to open that up. Now let's get import into package 2. The group name, I'm going to change that to texture so I can have all my textures in the same group. And you do not, by whatever you do, do not change the name here. Uh, that's the name of the file and that's how it finds it, so don't change anything. Um, the rest of this stuff, don't worry about it so much. Just leave it at default and hit OK. And now we have our texture. But we still can't apply it to our object yet. We need to create something else called a material. So I'll right click in this gray area here of the content browser and go to new material not material instance constant not any of this new material so we'll click that and I'm going to change the group to materials or material so I can keep all my materials in the same area it's in package 2 and I want to change the name to crate material yeah. get rid of that crate material hit OK and now we have our material you can't really see anything yet so I'm going to get a little creative with my space here. I have my material editor, and I have my content browser. Under the content browser, I want to go back down to texture. I want to select my crate texture, make sure it's highlighted by that yellow box. And then switching back over to the material editor, I want to find texture sample right here. It should be under the texture uh, heading. Texture sample. We'll left click that and we'll just left click and drag and drop in here and since I have the texture selected over here it's going to automatically put it in there but if it didn't you can always go down to here where it says texture let's see if I delete this out and I don't have a texture in there anymore with my texture selected over here and texture over here I can click the green arrow and that will bring over the texture that I have currently selected now all I need to do is take this black little knobby thing here click that and drag into the diffuse and now I have a tech uh, now I have a material that I can place onto my objects 
Uh, we're going to go over the rest of this in fairly large detail a little bit later down the road. But for now, this is just creating a very simple material and very simple texture. Uh, would you like to apply changes to this material? Uh, yes. Now let's apply this material to an object in our level. So if I go to Material, I can select my cool crate material right here with the 26 instructions. And so you can see here it says Texture 2D. You don't want to use that. You want to see where it says Material here. You want to use the material. So we'll select this little box I have in the middle of the room. Ah. And we'll just right click this, and I think they're in here. You can. Um, nope, I guess not. Alright, so I'm going to drag this all onto every piece of this thing. This little box here. Now, what's going on? Well, the box I made, I think, is 64 by 64, but the texture is 256 by 256, so it's not going to fit. It's going to be larger. <coughs> Sorry about that. It's going to be larger than the area. So what I need to do is I need to hit F5. I need to go to, and I think jack this up to maybe, or jack this down, sorry. Let's try 0.25 and apply that. Nope. Maybe 1. Apply that. Nope. 0.5. There we go. And now I have this cool little crate in the middle of my room. Voila! So let's build this out. It says brush 5 is having a null reference material. And if I click on this, if I double click this error, it shows me what brush it is, but it doesn't have a null reference material. It's all covered up. Well, it is, except for the very bottom of it, which I can't see. If I were to move this up in the air and rebuild, then I would be able to see that it has a null reference material on the very bottom that I can't really get at at this point in time. But, there we go. I got my box. I got my box in this room, suck. I got my box in this room. So that's how you import your own material into the game. I will be making this material available, or texture available to you guys um, if you just go over into the description box below. The next tutorial we're going to be talking about I'm not sure yet. I'll figure it out. It'll be a surprise. Uh, so stay tuned. This is Nick's Talker with Demonic Procedures. Thanks for watching. Just remember, the demon's inside.